Hey YouTube, this is James from Last Art Games. Today we're going to be testing a few at home methods for repairing scratched discs. The methods we're going to try are a banana, petroleum jelly, toothpaste, a magic eraser, and the skip doctor. I've got some PS2 games with scratches that don't work. So let's get started. Let's check out this copy of Dynasty Warriors 3. It loads up to this, there is no data error. You can see in this reflection just light scratches over the surface of the disc. Let's try our first method, a banana. I found several places online that says you can use a banana pill to fill in the scratches on a disc. Let's give it a try. We'll cut off a piece of the peel. Fold it in half and rub it into the disc. Then we're supposed to just wipe off the residue. I'm not seeing much of a difference in the scratches. But at least I get a snack with this method. Time to give it another test. And no change. So the banana method did not work for me. Let's try another game, Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. This one I get a different response. It actually loads this PlayStation 2 logo, but then it just sits on black as it tries to load. And we have another case of light scratches all over the surface. Time to try our second method, petroleum jelly. Like the banana, this is supposed to fill in the scratches on the disc. We'll take a big glob of this and rub it in. With everything heavily coated, we wipe off the excess. It's hard to see on camera, but there's actually a subtle difference in the scratches. Let's pop it in and give it a test. And the game actually loads up. I can't believe it, but Petroleum Jelly actually worked. Our next game to try is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. Let's 
Just like with Tomb Raider, this one loads up the PlayStation 2 logo, but then sits it black. Just some more light scratches. Our next method is toothpaste. This is supposed to buff out the surface and remove the scratches. We'll squirt a generous amount on the disc and get to scrubbing. I've read that the key here is to rub in lines away from the center of the disc and not in a circular motion around the disc. With everything buffed, we can go ahead and wipe off the excess toothpaste. You can actually see where it's buffed some of the disc surface. I'm actually hoping this one will work. Let's see if it'll work. Now we're getting a different error message that says it's not a PlayStation 2 format disc. So unfortunately, toothpaste did not work for me. Now on to our fourth method with Shrek 2. We get the same error that it can't recognize the game as a PlayStation 2 format disc. Again, just more light scratches. It's pretty consistent amongst all these games. This time we're going to try a magic eraser. Just like the toothpaste, this is supposed to buff out all of our scratches. We'll soak the foam in some water, squeeze out all the excess, and then get to buffing. The disc buffed out kind of nicely. Time for another test. Now we're getting a different error message that say the disc cannot be read. So unfortunately, it didn't work. In our final test, we're going to check out this copy of The Sims 2. Just like with Tomb Raider, we're going to get the PlayStation 2 logo, and then it's going to sit at black as the game tries to load. Let's open up and try our Skip Doctor. Here's all the scratches on the surface. We'll give it a quick spray with the included solution. Pop the disc into the skip doctor. 
and start turning the crank. Let's use the included buffing pad and drying cloth. And you can see it's buffed out most of our scratches. Time for our final test. And after a little time, it works. So the only methods that worked for me were the petroleum jelly and the skip doctor. Now there might be something going on with my discs as to why the other methods didn't work and your mileage may vary, but for me, no luck. Let me know in the comments below if some other at home methods you might've heard of. I'd love to test them out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more.